So yesterday I came across a news article called Rubik's Cube Solution Unlocked by Memorizing 3915 Final Move Sequences and I was curious as to what that meant so I clicked on the article and it looks like this guy actually learned full one look last layer with 3000 plus algorithms and he's actually doing an average using that method which I thought that was like literally impossible because it's, you know, 4,000 algorithms almost. So you might be asking, what is one look last layer? So usually after solving the first two layers, you'll do OLL, which solves the top side of the cube, and then do PLL, which solves the rest of it, which is a two look last layer because you're doing two algorithms. So most cubers use four look last layer or two look last layer because there's way too many algorithms to learn one for every single last layer case, unless you're this guy apparently. Now, one question I had when I heard about this for the first time was, is this real? Like, did, did this guy fake this? But here's why I think he didn't. This guy's using CS Timer, which is like a real Rubik's Cube timing website, which gives you randomly generated scrambles. And he's actually using the scrambles, like he's not using some pre-set up scrambles. It's also an uncut video, so there's nothing fishy going on. Like, you know, he's not like looking up algorithms or anything. Like it's a totally uncut video. And he did 100 solves. Like he recognized 100 cases and was able to solve them. And literally, if he just got lucky and got 100 PLL skips, the chances would be one in this number. So yeah, my verdict is that this is real and this guy actually did this somehow. Now, according to the article, it took him about a year to do, and sometimes he'd even memorize 144 algorithms in one day, which is just like, I can barely even remember two algorithms in one day. So yeah, I'm just making this video because this is like absolutely insane. I've never heard anything like this and literally nobody's talking about it. Like it was literally just posted on r slash cubers a couple weeks ago and nobody's talked about it since then that I've seen. There were also a lot of comments telling him to get a new cube because the cube he was using wasn't the best. And luckily he can get one on dailypuzzles.com.au, the sponsor of this channel. And he could use the code TBO at checkout to get 5% off. Okay, that's it for the sponsor plug. But yeah, this, I know this isn't my normal type of video. I'm literally just making this just to share this all with you guys because this is a topic I think would be interesting to a lot of you guys. So if you're finding this and you're new to the channel, then stick around by subscribing to the channel. We're actually in a race with cubing for you to see who can hit 5,000 subscribers first. So make sure to subscribe to help me out with that. And that's about it for this video. I'm gonna have the link to the average of 100 video down in the description. And see you guys in the next video.